All right, guys. I'm gonna release my uh, the my homemade oscilloscope that I use using a Teensy 3.2. I'm gonna release the code to everybody. So I want to give a little rundown on how to operate it and uh, how it works, so you can tweak it and stuff. And uh, well, let me just show you the sim simple way. You upload this code to your Teensy. You upload this code onto your proce processing and you hit play. And here's your uh, oscilloscope. Now, right now, I've got a crappy little uh, oscillator circuit on the breadboard, which is putting out a horrible wave. So, <laughs> that's the oscillator. It's not the it's not the uh, the oscilloscopes fault so uh, here we start you hit the start button that takes the samples get sample amount that that tells you see we're doing a sample time of 1000 microseconds so it took a sample as many analog reads as it could in a thousand microseconds and it was able to take 102 samples in a thousand microseconds that's what this is tells you how many it took and then you hit get samples to draw it onto the screen so there's one it's a thousand microseconds long one two three four five and a half so we got five and a half kilohertz now this high number is uh... what i use to to signify when i'm done sending the array so this tells you this is the end of the ray. Like at the very end, I send this large number, and that's what that is. <clears throat> so, um, so that's how you work it. You got start, get the sample amount, draw the samples, and then you hit the clear button. You don't even have to run the sample again. You can print that same one over again if you want. It's still in the memory, or you can just hit it again and it'll take new samples and it will get those samples you don't really have to hit this I mean that's gonna be the same every time unless you change the the sample time length but that's how you work it. it's real simple it works you know um, like I said these aren't very pretty waves that's because I've got a, a really bad oscillator circuit on the breadboard and <laughs> it's not the fault of the oscilloscope so uh all right now let me tell show you a couple little things you got to know the only things you can really change or need to change is you can change the sample time i've got it right now set at uh, this is actually a thousand microseconds so uh Let me add some stuff onto there. So that's uh, that's the time in microseconds. So if you were messing with a, s a smaller frequency, see that was we just looked at five five and a half kilohertz. So if you wanted to mess with uh, you know something around a thousand hertz, you might want to bump this up to like five thousand microseconds. And what that does is remember this is sample time. 1000 <laughs> so when it gets triggered to take its sample uh, it uses micros and start time equals stop time plus sample time that's up there that I just showed you the sample time and that's how it does is going to do as many analog reads as it possibly can in whatever this sample time is so you can change this sample time. I've I've got this because uh because Teensy has so much memory, I'm able to make a an array and it's got enough room for a thousand samples if you could take that much. So like I've ran this at uh five thousand microseconds and I was looking at a thousand hertz and it was taking like 508 samples so uh, you shouldn't run over this thousand limit here 
and uh, you know 5,000 microseconds is plenty fine for anything around a thousand Hertz but if you do change this then you need to change this M variable M is just how far it stretches it out so if you see uh, this line here is the end of the sample array drawing right so <clears throat> I've got it stretching it out to fit on the screen you know so you can see better now if we were to change this M to uh, we'll change this to like 6 and run it and do the same one we won't even take a new sample we'll just use the same one and see it, it ends sooner so that's all that M does is is how long this is stretched out so you can see it better you know which when you do take a longer sample time uh, if you don't change the M value it'll just run off past the screen because it's longer you know so if you want to use uh, like say 5,000 microseconds you want to drop this down to about 2 2 works good for 5 microseconds because it's a thousand pixels you know and you gotta figure out how many samples you know so but 9 is perfect for 9 is perfect for a thousand microseconds it ends right here at the end without covering up the numbers and uh, yeah so and I put a little note by it that uh, change if you change sample time nine is best for a thousand you know so yeah two is best for five thousand alright so that's the two things you can change you know if you change the sample time then you need to change this a little bit so it fits on the screen to where you can see it good and besides that you've got this this is your serial port now this whole uh this uh, oscilloscope program if you don't have the correct if it doesn't connect to the port when you pl hit run it'll lock up on you the program will lock up on you so you've got to have the port set correctly and all that when you hit run because then it'll lock up if you have the wrong and then it's kind of a pain in the ass like that it'll lock up if it if it doesn't connect so now this is what it looks like if you've got Linux but if you got Windows it'll just be a COM 3 or whatever your COM is you know, so you gotta put your port in here now if you don't know what your port is you just go down to um, go over to your your Arduino IDE go to tools and see it'll tell you what ports you have see it's, it tells me right here the ACMO or ACM 0 so you gotta look what your port port you have so that's all you gotta do to use this just basically put in your own port and then you can use it now if you want to tweak the sample time then you also gotta tweak this M value but uh, if you don't mess with that, then you can just put your port in and it's ready to rock and roll, you know. Now let me show you how it works, okay. You know, you, we run this, we've got these buttons, you know. Clear just clears it, you know. But the start button, the get sample button, and or the get sample amount button and the get samples button, they're the three different buttons. Now what they do is they send a letter to the Arduino it says uh, a capital T starts taking the samples when it gets the capital T it starts taking the samples when it gets an S it sends the samples which would be the get samples and when it gets an A it sends the amount of samples so okay um, send samples and then in 
that's the high number to signify the end of the array, of the array. <clears throat> and uh, so yeah you you got these three letters that are, that are the commands for these buttons right so if you didn't even have this this going see we'll close this out you can still use these buttons with the serial port so let's go to the serial monitor wait what's there 11 5 200 okay baud rates right so I can put type in here T to get start the sample and then uh, what the hell were they oh and we'll get we'll type A to see how many samples were taken. Ninety-seven. Wow, I've never seen ninety-seven before. And then uh, we type S, and that will send the samples that it had taken. So these, this is the actual samples that it took. You got some high numbers where those spikes are, and then low numbers, and then it follow it and it ends it with the 888. <clears throat> so you could you could use your your serial monitor to do it. To if you have some kind of problem that don't seem to want to work, a serial monitor you can uh, type in these letters and it'll send the information back to you so and that's how you use it um i don't think there's anything else i need to tell you guys um uh, that's the buttons you know it said port right a port right t that's the same way that's these t that's the a um yeah, I don't think there's anything I gotta tell you. It's that's how you use it. You hit the start button, that takes the samples. This tells you how many samples were taken. Apparently it's off by two or three for some weird reason. And um and you hit this to draw it out. So, all right, I'm going to make this available for everybody. Uh, I hope you understand it enough to use it. Uh, basically, uh, if you don't mess with the, if you don't mess with changing the sample time, all you have to do is put your port in these parentheses and or these quotes, and you're good to go. It should work. So, all right, guys, hope you guys can use this.